Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That is right, just in time for another campground experiential video. We've been traveling around out in West Texas. We've just left Colorado City State Park and we drove back toward the east and we have now arrived at the lakeside campground at Horge Creek Lake. It's a Corps of Engineer campground on a Corps of Engineer lake. And we're in site number 49. This is a pretty little campground. Let's talk about site number 49. Number one, they don't want you driving in the grass. And then somehow this dude is out here cutting branches driving in the grass. Look at the length of this site. <laughs> you can fit a really big coach in here. It is a 30 amp and water site. And, and you can't drive anywhere on the grass. They they have, I like it. I'm, I'm very happy with that. So the pedestal, as I said, is 30 amp and there's water. Starlink, there's actually a lot of deer scat right out here. So maybe we'll get to see some deer in the morning or in the evening. Look at the sight, man, this, what a sight. Fire pit, charcoal grill way out on the edge, concrete picnic table with a cover, how, how cool is that? And if the lake wasn't so low, we would be almost waterside. Horge Creek Lake is dramatically low. All right, so I'm gonna deploy a little red. We're gonna do a scooter run. We're gonna go see what there is to see. We're gonna go see some stuff. I really dig this tree. After, after camping in the mesquite trees for the last two days, this is a very refreshing change. So let me get a little red and we'll go see some stuff. One thing that jumps out at me, right off the bat here at Lakeside Campground at Horge Creek Lake is the group, the group facilities, group camping facilities. This is one of several. All right, I, I count 15 RV connections. It's their, their parking lot. It's a big parking lot, but hey, <laughs> it looks flat. Got a great big covered gathering area as well as an indoor gathering area with a kitchen. Big fire pit. What else do we have? I saw a big cooker somewhere. Yep, and a great big old cooker. <laughs> Look at that. Here amongst the oak trees. Cool. Oh, wait. There's... But wait, there's more. You can get a volleyball game going. Right there. All right, let's, let's, go, see, let's go see some more stuff. If you have got a group of people that are gonna RV together, the lakeside is, is actually well accommodating. So this is another group shelter and we're going to check that out but there's three pedestals over there and three pedestals here and all three all of these are are dual 30s so you can get 12 rvs for this pavilion it's a screened in so you don't have to worry about bugs getting in your beer Is it locked? 
Yep, it's locked. Not much to see in there, but some tables. Looks like they may have a little kitchen in the very back. And big cookers over there. And, and they also have volleyball stanchions. All right, let's go see what else we can find. And yet another group pavilion. This this one is in the is day use only. This one is not for RV camping, but it's got two great big cookers and a volleyball court. Court and lots of trees. Lots of pretty trees. I'm really, I really like this park. All right, whoever, those of you who suggested I come to Horge Creek Lake, thank you. You are spot on, well worth the visit. All right, let's go see some more stuff. They actually have full connection pull through sites right here by the beach. Of course, it's, it's a gravel beach and the water is very low, but, but look how deep that would be if if the water was up at the normal level. And judging by that buoy, the normal level would be like about right here. Oh, well, probably about this fine. So that's, that's probably normal level, maybe a little farther down. Okay. Right there. That's a deep lake. <laughs> All right, let's, let's, we need to go see some more stuff. My boat ramp fans are, are not gonna be happy. We gotta have a boat ramp, but there's a gate and it looks like it's been closed for a while, but you can look at, at the water stain going along the dam there and you can see how low i mean that's that's got to be 20 feet or more super super low so you'll get a better look at this on wednesday but if you need full connection pull throughs they have got you covered and that they can accommodate the biggest of rigs. There's several 40 foot plus, like a London Air. Look at that. Two generators on board. That's incredible. But the sights are what we're looking at. Look at that one. That, that sight right there is fantastic. A and yet another group shelter with dual 30 amp pedestals for eight RVs. This is way down at the end of the road. There's more really cool stuff to come. Let's go see some really cool stuff. Screen shelter number 16. Check this out. Look at this site. This is so cool. I mean, it's just a basic screen shelter with a, a, a handicap friendly picnic table and a light. But man, what a great place. It'd be a great outdoor kitchen when the weather is, or when the mosquitoes are bad. And you're right on the, whoa. <laughs> At some point you were right on the water. All right, let's go see some more stuff. This is the sign I was mentioning before. That's how, that's how low it is. Now when I was doing the scooter run just, to, just now, I cannot, I lost count of the number of deer that I saw. There, there were dozens. I saw one buck. It's a really good rack. So they do have a fishing dock over here on this I'm way up the the lake I actually went as almost as far up the lake as I could look how low this is so we should be on water right now 
the water line starts up here. Uh, no point in going any further. The boat ramp falls off right at the end. Courtesy dock is high and dry. All right. So if ever the lake levels come back up, this would be a cool place to go fishing. Let's go find some more stuff. If, if you're thinking about a group of RV thing, <laughs> man, this is number five. 12 plugs, 12 RV plugs. I think there's one more on this side. Bringing the littles with you. They're gonna be excited because Check this out, they got a big huge play structure. And it's it's easy to get up on this one. Even even I can get up here. Shelter number one with 12 RV connections. We're about done here. And I'm cold. We'll we'll see some more stuff after I get warm. So I think this park host must put out corn for the deer. Look at all those deer. I don't know how well it comes out on the camera. That's a lot of deer. All right. Maybe we'll find some more. If you're camping at Horge Creek Lake and the water level is low as it is on this visit, and you want to do some fishing, you got to go across the dam. That's the outflow. And they actually have, well, that's a pretty steep ramp there. The lake is so desperately low. You imagine how deep this thing is when it's full. Now you don't have to imagine. You can see it. Of course, I don't know how deep the water is right now, but there's signs all over the place that say, due to low water levels, the whole lake is a wake-free zone. Somebody put a solar street light. That was put up by somebody that comes out here to fish a lot. That's the swim area. We'll go check that out next. Well, you can get over your head real quick in this lake. Let's go see some beach stuff. As far as Corps of Engineer beaches go, this one's pretty cool. Except that the water is so low that you can't swim in it. Great place to spend the day cooking dogs and swimming when the water's up. We need to go see a boat ramp. Well, my boat ramp fans will be happy to know there's a functional boat ramp on Horge Creek Lake. It's a long one. You better be good at backing your trailer because that's a long way down. And it looks like it drops off pretty quick based on what we're seeing as far as elevations and stuff. I'm just guessing. That's pretty deep. I don't know. If, if you fish on Horge Creek Lake and you, you have a clue as to how deep this lake is, Post a comment down there. I would really appreciate that. And this is the first. I've never seen a courtesy dock with a leash. So it doesn't run away. Horge Creek Lake. <laughs> Spent all day yesterday running around calling this campground Lakeside. Yeah, we are Lakeside. But the actual name is Friendship. Friendship Park. We're gonna go from Friendship Park to Flat Rock Park, but you won't see that until, you'll see that next week. 
Make sure you subscribe. beautiful sunshine is gone <laughs> clouds have returned wind is picked up temperatures drop down a little bit it's you know i had to put up a windbreak hopefully it doesn't go the way of the the same way that the one down on the coast did at, at galveston island state park i don't think it will but i do know there's rain on the horizon. Just like the weatherman predicted, it's gonna start raining in a, in a couple hours. And it's gonna rain all probably night and into tomorrow. So I'm gonna start packing up the non-essential stuff because tomorrow morning we roll out of here. We're done at Friendship Park on Horge Creek Lake. I really like this campground. Especially this time of year when there's nobody here. It would be better if I could camp on the other side when there's no one here. But I, I can't do that. So, but these campsites right here are rocking. Only the closest neighbors the other side of that loop. And they keep to themselves. So anyway, we're done here at Horge Creek Lake. To recap, Friendship Park is a destination. More so than it is a waypoint. You could make it a waypoint, but it's kind of out of the way for a waypoint. Uh, we're way off of any major thoroughfare, major interstate freeways, and there's a couple of small state highways, but it's a drive to get here. So you need to be intending to come here, and you should intend to come here if you like the RV camp and you're looking for some someplace new. The little town of Coleman, we, we went in and, and bought some groceries at the grocery store. Very cool little Texas town. It has not yet been destroyed by the big box retailers. It still has a downtown where you can go and shop local. I noticed several restaurants, several places to buy fuel, and a grocery store. Uh, and Yappy said it was a pretty nice little grocery store. So everything you need is right here, close to Horge Creek Lake. And if you're RV camping, you need to come see this one. Bring some firewood with you, because there's not really any firewood to harvest, and I didn't find anyone selling it except the grocery store, and that was not cost effective. I did buy two bundles, but there's like four sticks per bundle at $10 a bundle. Man, wood's gotten expensive. So bring your own firewood. Plan on doing some fishing. Because once you get past these weeds, the, the bank is rocky and it's easy to access the water. And then there's the fishing dock over on the, the other side of the dam. So you can do some fishing here. That brings us to the end of our visit to Friendship Park. Now you're going to want to make sure you subscribe and tune in next Sunday morning. Because I'm going to show you all the stuff on the other side. Flat Rock Park. And that was a cool experience too. And you may want to go there instead of here. But you won't know until you watch next week's video. But I got to close this out because we're rolling. And in two weeks, you'll see where we're going next. So stay tuned. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And remember to hit that bell as well.
you really want to watch every episode of the Dude RV Show. It's life changing. <laughs> For those of you who have been following along, I can't say thank you enough. That's, that's why I'm here. That's why I, I would never have come to Horge Creek Lake if it wasn't for y'all watching and recommending. So thank you for that. This has been a truly pleasant, it's a nice place to camp. And for my patrons, I'm so grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?